Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we will discuss how to use Shopify products API with PHP. If you are running an e-commerce store on Shopify, you may need to automate your products management by creating, updating or deleting products programmatically using the Shopify API. In this video, we will learn how to use PHP to interact with Shopify's API and perform CRUD operations on products. First step is to obtain the Shopify API credentials. Before we starting the work with Shopify API, we need to obtain Shopify API credentials from Shopify dashboard. Let's see how we can obtain the details. Log into your Shopify store and on the left side go in apps and sales and channels. Then click on develop apps, then create an app name it whatever you want and create an app and go to configure admin access scope we need to give some scopes for this api for now we are giving only for products uh, management so this <laughs> oh, token can write and read products then save it after saving click on api credentials then click on install okay so this is token that we need so save it somewhere else copy from here copy and save it where you want so now let's jump on second step second step is to download shopify php sdk in order to communicate with shopify apis we need a php sdk that can communicate with shopify apis let's see how we can install it so you have to go on this link i will mention this link in the video description okay so scroll down and copy this command we will install through the composer okay so go in your working directory and paste this command so it will download shopify php sdk so sdk downloaded now let's jump into third step so now we have installed SDK. So now let's write some codes. So our first step is to create a product. To create a new product on Shopify using PHP, we need to use a post method in product resource in Shopify SDK. Let's see how we can create a product. So creating a new file. So first of all, we need to we need to require vendor auto load file. We can call it index.php save it and now let's run and see if it's working so it's working so now let's write some more code so first of all we need to configure our access token so we need to copy this code and paste it here here we need to replace uh, shop url with our uh, shopify store 
so this is my store name I will paste it here and this is my access token and I will paste it here now we need to create a Shopify object let's go back on repository and copy this code paste it here now we have a Shopify object okay now we will start creating a product okay so now let's uh, prepare our data for a product okay so now we have data now we will call a post method product post method okay so here we will save the response in this variable shopify product and post and we will pass uh, this array in this method so now it will create a product on shopify store and response will saved in this response variable now let's uh, check the response variable now here we need to, uh, we are printing the data so we can see the response okay perfect now let's uh, run our code so saying that uh, let me check this error okay I, I found the error here we need to pass our shop if uh, complete uh, shop URL okay now let's uh, refresh okay you can see now the response has been displayed on browser here product ID now let's check in our Shopify uh, products that product has been created or not as you can see test product has been created now here is the important thing is product ID I will save this ID and let's jump into next step so next step is to updating a product to update an existing product on Shopify using PHP we need to use a put method of product resource in Shopify SDK so previously we have a product ID okay we'll use this product ID to update token so here we will change title of the product okay so let's see new title product okay now we want to save we want to update this title so we will uh, do same response is equal to Shopify product so here we need to pass a product id that uh, we want to update now we will use a put method put now inside put we will pass this array again because we have updated some data here control s now run this file again okay perfect as you can see 
new title now let's go back in our shopify store and a refresh so as you can see title has been updated so let's jump into next step so next step is to reading a product to retrieve an existing product from Shopify using PHP, we need to use a get method of the product resource in Shopify SDK. Let's go. Uh, let's get back to code and see. To code and see how we will use this. So we, this is the product ID. Uh, this product data we will get from Shopify API. We don't need this. Delete it because we are not updating. We were just uh, getting data from. So here we need to pass product ID. Here we need to just put get method. That's it. And remove this. Now let's copy. Sorry, now let's save and refresh this URL. Perfect. You can see we are still getting data of this product. So we will need this ID again to delete a product. So now our next step is to deleting a product. So let's jump into next step. So our next step is to deleting a product. To delete an existing product from Shopify using PHP, we need to use the delete method of product resource in Shopify SDK. Let's see how it will work. So here, we just need to write delete that's it now if we will run this code run this code okay we are getting nothing let's refresh our Shopify store so as you can see there is no product at all so that's it in this video i have covered how to use shopify products api with php using php shopify library i hope you found this video helpful and informative if it's true then please like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching